Last time on the Summer Sphere, I left the Coral Coast and headed 700 kilometers into the outback. After driving on some pretty bad roads, the adventure starts now. I arrived at Kerigini National Park. I set up camp and went for first little explore of the area. Look at this. At nightfall, I cooked myself a five-star gourmet meal. <laughs> it's going to be noodles with chicken and corn and then some fruit. And went to bed feeling happy and excited for the next day. Good morning. She's so nice. I had the best sleep ever. And I've got such a nice view. Look. I'm going to get up. There you go, that's my little food box. Okie dokie, I've packed all my gear, got water, and I'm ready to explore. And we are back on the world's worst gravel road. Bloody hell, why is this so bad? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just came across the worst bit in the world. There's a traffic hazard ahead, yeah? A sign, I thought, how can this get any worse? And then I was flying about, I was almost hitting the roof with my head. This is the worst bloody ride ever! <laughs> it's a good bit, yeah. worried I might go on my own but now I've got this whole rafting group following me <laughs> so it's all good I'm going down into the gorge Hancock gorge here I go down 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 there you go I don't know if I have to go into the water or not let's try and stick outside of it like this look look how smooth this is Climbing happening here. Look at the colour of the rock. And that's the direction I'm going in. Looks like you've got to leave your shoes here. Bye bye. See you later. <sighs> this is so cold. Jesus Christ. I'm going to die of hypothermia. These rocks are so slippery. Well, it looks like I can't take them. I have to leave my backpack here. Felix, you got this! Yeah, buddy! Oh, yeah! Okay. I'm going to attempt it. That nice guy there. Ow! Damn you! It's a wasp. The nice guide from just then showed me where to walk so I don't have to go through the water. So, but I'm not going to take any of my gear, I'm just going to take a little GoPro. adventurous. If you like adventure, that's the place to be. I'm back up. Now I've had myself some lunch. But it wasn't long before I decided to explore another nearby gorge. Off for my second hike for the day. I stumbled down towards Handrail Pool. 
a class five walk recommended for very experienced bushwalkers only. <laughs> Looks like I've got to get back into the water again. So on I went. First the trek led through waist deep water and along some very, very slippery and quite sharp rocks. Next I had to climb along the gorge wall because the water became too deep to walk through and was way too chilly for me to even consider swimming in it. So I clung to that wall like Spider-Man and soon reached dry grounds again. Looking like I wet myself, I pushed on and soon was about to enter another narrow gorge. Although the water wasn't deep here, it was extremely slippery and I had to be really, really careful as to where I'd put my feet. I heard of many accidents down here in these gorges and in fact only a day later they had to rescue someone in this very spot who had slipped and broken one of his legs, a fate I truly did not want to share. So I cautiously pushed on, going deeper and deeper into this gorge. The rock itself looked spectacular. Sedimentary layers whose evolution began 2.5 billion years ago have turned into banded iron formations. They now form these absolutely stunning looking gorge walls, towering up to 100 metres above me. I climbed down a small waterfall and finally made it to Handrail Pool, a swimming hole among steep cliff walls. After a short rest, I decided to get back to where I had left my shoes and backpack behind which also meant I had to go through this cold, cold water again. I did it. I'm dripping wet, look. But I did it. This is such an adventure playground. Bloody hell. Very cool. Just some guys from Parks and Wildlife come past asking me if I had seen a snake down there because someone reported one. A marga snake. Or brown snake. Anyway, I didn't see it, luckily, or unluckily, I don't know, I'd like to see one, just don't want to get bitten by one, Just I really need a shower, I'm so covered in red dirt everywhere, even walking through the water didn't change that, well I did, but then I got dirty again, anyway. I'm going back to the campground now, I'm trying to beat the people to the shower. I reckon it's about to bucket down in a minute. Looks really like a thunderstorm coming up. See you there? It's pretty dark. Alright. Well, it might not rain after all, but I have gone to the restaurant and ordered myself a burger for this evening. In the process, I've talked to a lady who didn't pre fork in that her and her daughter, they can't get a spot here. And the next campground is 77 kilometers away, so I offered to share mine with them if that's okay. So we'll see, I might get some neighbors. It has. Oh, and there's mother and daughter, they're actually here now. I'm sharing with them. Alrighty, so I had a bit of a shower, feeling refreshed, all the red dirt's gone off me. <laughs> and such a beautiful, beautiful national park. And today was awesome. All that climbing around in the quarters and wading through the water. Honestly, I didn't expect that. Can you hear it? A few little raindrops. It is really starting to come down there. Hopefully this tent is waterproof enough. my burger. This is it. The burger was delicious. I might get one again tomorrow. Too lazy to cook. I'm gonna say goodbye to you for now and I'll see you guys next time. Bright and early in the morning and we're gonna go and explore Dale's Gorge. All right. Cheers. Next time on the Summer Sphere. I'm on my way to Dale's Gorge. I just met the Parks and Wildlife guy again. He's trying to catch another snake here. I'm looking for the first injury there. Yeah, this is so very, very different from yesterday's gorge. Spectacular. So 